Cases are some of the nicest and most sought after things in Escape from Tarkov. Not only do they help you keep a bunch of extra stuff in your stash, but a lot of them actually provide a bunch of in raid utility as well. It's been a long time since I did my guide on cases and they've moved them around, changed the requirements and even added a bunch of new cases this wipe. So in this video, we are going to go over how to get every single case in Escape from Tarkov. If you found this video helpful, think about dropping a like. We are getting close to 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube. So if you haven't yet and you like the content, please consider subscribing. I also stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch. All my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by and say hey. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so without wasting any time, we're just going to hop right in. Basically, for each of the cases, we're going to do like a super brief overview of what it does. We're going to talk about if you can purchase it, if you can barter for it, if you can get it from any quests, and if you can purchase it on the flea market. So we're going to start with the Lucky Scav Junk Box, a case that is good for every player in the game. It is just there for barter items. So you can't put food or armor or ammo or guns or anything in there. It's really just for these barter items. You can purchase this from Therapist Level 1 for 1.1 million rubles. Uh, that's a pretty good deal for the value that it provides. You can also barter for it at some of the higher level therapists, therapist level two for 100 level 10 or above dog tags. Later on in the wipe, this is can be worth it because if you get a dog tag case, uh, most of the enemies you're going to come across are level 10 or above. And then eventually you can just trade that in if you want. You can also craft the junk box at the lavatory level two. Uh, it's going to take two mag boxes. Let's see here. Two mag boxes, one military scissors, six bolts, three keck tape, and three of the new uh, metal spare parts. Uh, if you craft the mag boxes and you find these things, like if you just save up for them, it can be worth it. I would say you're gonna, if you're buying everything for this, you're probably just better off purchasing it from therapist. But if you have most of these things and you only need to buy one or two things, then the uh, the barter can absolutely be worth it. It is worth noting you need to turn in a scav junk box in order to construct your scav case. If that's something that you want to do, that's something to be aware of. And you can also purchase them on the flea market. Uh, there's really no reason to do that because you can buy them at therapist level one and it's cheaper, but you can purchase them on the flea market if you so choose. All right, the next one is something that not many people use anymore, and that is the items case. Uh, the items case is kind of like a smaller case that holds just anything that like a thick items case will hold. So it holds everything, guns, ammo, barters, items. Like this was one of the oldest cases in the game. It just holds just about everything. Uh, it's a four by four square that opens up to an eight by eight, so you get a lot of room. Uh, these aren't used very much, and that's because they're purchasable for 16,000 euros. Uh, and 16,000 euros ends up being, what are we at? Like 2.2 million rubles. Um, and with how many other cases are in the game and stuff like that, and how much other cases provide like specific utility, like the junk box and stuff like that, uh, these aren't used as often. All of them are sold at Therapist Level 3, the, the straight up purchase, the barter for 20 ophthalmoscopes and 15 piles of meds. Right now, especially since ophthalmoscopes are super expensive, this is not worth it at all. However, if you do find a bunch and you find a bunch that and die with them and they're not found in raid and you can save them for it, maybe. Uh, and then a dog tag, once again, with 100 dog tags, you can get a junk box, which holds a lot more space. The dog tag barters are interesting. I don't know if any of the items cases are really worth it. They're really cool cases. I wish they were utilized a little bit more and you can't buy these on the flea market because you can't really find them in raid and you can't craft them. Moving on to the one of the most coveted cases, which is the thick items case. This is the size of a junk box. It is absolutely huge. And it's just like an items case where it can fit anything. It can fit a lot of other cases. It can fit guns. It can fit ammo, armor, basically anything. Like we said, even a lot of cases fit in this. This is probably the most utility out of any of the cases. And it is huge. Now you can get one of these from therapist as a quest reward. You have to be level 35 to get the quest. Uh, it's called private clinic and you need to turn in a found in raid ophthalmoscope and a found in raid Letex. So you can craft the Letex if you need to or find it in raid shoreline, ophthalmoscopes, woods and shoreline and you get one of these thick item cases. So you have to be pretty high level. 35 is definitely no small feat, but you get one of these for free if you can complete all that stuff. You used to be able to sell these on the flea market, but they restricted it. It is completely taken off the flea. You can no longer purchase them on the flea market, but there are a few barters uh, and they are from therapists, I believe uh, up at level four. Yeah, 50 moonshine, 35 vodka and 30 whiskey. Uh, 50 moonshine is insane, especially since they go for about two to 300 K. Uh, I think most of the time, even the higher level players that do the barters, 
end up just farming up lead X's and then purchasing it here. 15 defibs, 15 lead X's, 15 ibuprofen, and 15 toothpaste. There is no way to get these without an insane amount of money. Um, you can go from the barters if you want, pick which one, but these are very high level things. I've never done any of these barters, but the thick case is awesome, a ton of utility, uh, and you can get one for free, well, free, but by doing a bunch of quests. Now, moving on to the other thick case, and that is the thick weapons case. Uh, the thick weapons case, I do not have one, so I'll just kind of inspect it here. Uh, it's like a weapons case, but much bigger. So this is specifically for weapons, ammo, magazines, uh, weapon parts and stuff like that, like scopes, you can put that in there. Um, and it's a really, really big weapons case. And um, once again, really nice. Uh, you can barter, like we said, we're right here. We're at the level four Jaeger barter, which you need to turn in two weapons cases and two ammo cases. This actually isn't terrible because there are some good barters for regular weapons cases. We'll get to that in a minute. But uh, you can barter this for a thick weapons case. At level four mechanic, which I do not have, you can barter for a thick weapons case for 20 Bitcoin and 20 GP coins. I don't know if that's necessarily worth it because the 20 Bitcoin alone is going to be like some somewhere in the range of 6 million. And then the GP coins go for like 30 K a piece, depending. Um, so, but that is there. You can also get one of these for, you know, quote unquote free from another task. And that is called perfect mediator. And this task just requires you to get level four traders, uh, well, level four with all of the traders, which means you're going to need to get to level 42. That is what I'm waiting on. I need to get to level 42 to get Ragman and mechanic level four, and then I will get a thick weapons case. So that's very hard to achieve. If you want the free version, uh, you're going to have to do a lot of questing and a lot of playing, but if you are going to get up to 42, if you th think you are, then you can get one of these um, from that quest. Now you can, uh, as of now, purchase these on the flea market. I don't know how long this is going to last. They run about 9 million. So maybe that Bitcoin barter isn't that bad, actually, because they run for about 9 million. Um, you can sell this. I, a lot of times I'll sell my thick weapons case to fund hideout stuff because I don't really like keeping weapons in weapons cases. But Currently, it wouldn't surprise me if they restrict this from the flea, but currently, as the time of this recording, you can purchase these on the flea market if you want. Now, the next case, speaking of the weapons cases, is going to be the normal standard weapons case. Uh, this is just the same thing, just a little bit smaller. You can, you know, carry any, anywhere between like eight and 10 guns in here. Normally, like we said, same thing, ammo and uh, magazines, and you can put weapon parts and stuff like that in there. Uh, small, you know, cases are relatively small, open up to a lot of space, a lot of good space savings here. Uh, you can actually acquire these from three different quests uh, and that you can actually get one of these for, you know, quote unquote free. One of them is Hunter right here, which is eliminate Sturman 25 times. This is the uh, little unknown reward here is a weapons case. You need to be a relatively high level in order to get this quest deep down the, the uh, Jaeger quest line, but that is there. The Huntsman Path quest line is the quest line from Jaeger where you kill all the scav bosses. Once you get to where you kill Gluhar, once you kill him, he gives you a weapons case for that too. So uh, it's once again, far down the quest line, but you can get it from there. And then there's a newer quest called Special Equipment, which is one of the new high, high level quests. Like I think you need to be level 50 or 55 to even unlock the quest. You turn in a bunch of really valuable stuff. That's way, way later. You will have bought one by then, but that is another way that you can get a free one. Uh, Skier level four has a barter for 10 moonshine, 10 vodka, and five slickers. Uh, not a terrible barter because this is like 2 million. And then if you can get a hold of these, so that's really not a terrible barter if you can get your hands on that. Mechanic level two has a barter for one as well. Scroll down here. And that is for 10 Bitcoin. That comes out to be, depending on Bitcoin fluctuates, sometimes it's down to like 250,000 rubles. At that point, 2.5 million for a weapons case isn't really that bad. Sometimes they fluctuate up. You can also get another barter at mechanic level three. This barter is the one that I use. Aces this wipe are not very expensive. They're like 100,000 rubles on the flea market because of how common they are. If you find one and maybe put it in your secure container and die with it and you can't list it on the flea market, uh, motors are very easy to come by. You can craft wires. You can find broken LCDs. Uh, and if you just, if you keep this in mind as you're looting, uh, you can get, you know, half of this stuff in, you know, a day or two's worth of raids, maybe buy the Asa if you don't have it, and then get one of these for much, much cheaper than two to three million, which were some of the other barters. Uh, so that is good to know. That's probably my recommendation. And then Jaeger level four, five pistol cases and five fuels. Because of this barter, the pistol cases are like 280,000 rubles on the flea market. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this one. I would probably recommend the Asa barter. And uh, you can purchase them on the flea market as well. And they're about two to three million. 
you can purchase them on the flea market because people get them as quest rewards, which means they're found in raid, which means you can put it on the flea market. This might get restricted, but you know, most of those barters and the flea market around that 3 million ruble count, I would say the Ace of Barter is probably the way to go there. Next case to talk about is the med case. Meds cases are really nice. And just like you would think, they can hold all your meds. Uh, a lot of your like miscellaneous things like med tools um, and the saline and the other medical items that aren't just meds for your character. But for the most part, uh, they're just here to carry all of your meds. You can actually get quite a few of these from quest rewards, therapist quests as well. Uh, there's the healthcare privacy quest line you get from therapists pretty early once you get through those gas analyzers. The last one provides you a med case. The chemical part four, the one where you uh, choose who you turn that into, if you turn that into therapist, it's called out of curiosity for her, you get a med case. Um, colleagues part three, I haven't done the colleagues quest line, but if you get through part three, this is not worth it at all. I think this is the one where you have to turn in a blue and a green key card. Nobody will probably ever do that. Uh, and then you can also get it from one of the newer quests, the super high level ones, level 50 to get it. It's called crisis. You turn in a bunch of really expensive stuff. You can get a med case there, but they're definitely available much earlier than that. And you can get some from decently early quests, kind of like mid quests. Uh, you can actually find these cases in marked rooms. Um, and there are even certain places, certain spawns on customs, like the giving tree and stuff that can spawn like anything in the game, like in gas station as well. Uh, I have seen people just pull these, um, just found these cases in raid, but you can find them in raid. You can find them in marked rooms. Uh, and then you can also purchase them from therapists uh, for 548,000 rubles, uh, or there is a barter for some medical tools, uh, syringes, blood sets, and stuff like that. A lot of this stuff, if you're finding it, if you're throwing it in your junk box or your med box, you can get these barters for pretty cheap. Uh, some of the syringes, because of all the barters, can be pretty expensive. So if you're just going out and buying them all, but you're still probably not spending 550,000 rubles. So if you really, really need it, you can buy it, but they're between the quests and the barters. Uh, and if you're lucky enough to have a marked key, there's a bunch of other ways you can get it as well. These can also be purchased on the flea market because you can find them in raid, um, but it's not really worth it. Once again, you can just buy them from therapists for cheaper. Next one is going to be the grenade case. As the name implies, it's just for grenades. That is literally it. You can put like the grenade launcher grenades in there and then the grenade fuses in there that you can then barter for grenades. But functionally, it's a grenade case. It is just for grenades. That chemical part for quest line that you get from skier, like we said, if you turn it into therapist, you get a uh, med case. If you turn it into skier, he does give you a grenade case. So that's your choice there if you want to do that. There is a barter from from Jaeger level three um, for some like really miscellaneous stuff, the survival lighters, the hunter matches and the repellent. Um, you know, if you're lucky enough to find these, the hunter matches were expensive early. They're definitely not right now. So this could be a decent value. And then additionally, you can craft this. The one that I have, I crafted uh, before the metal spare parts were added, but you can craft it with uh, fuel cans. These can be empty. Um, and then the metal scissors, uh, bolts, screws, and then the new uh, metal spare parts, which these have calmed down in price quite a bit as well. So uh, this is actually a pretty good value uh, and it helps with your hideout crafting skill and stuff like that. And this is a lavatory level two craft. So you need to get lavatory level two, you don't need level three, and then you can craft that. And they are also purchasable on the flea market uh, for about 300,000 rubles. I think these can also be found in the marked room if I'm not mistaken, but you get them as quest rewards so they can be put up on the flea market. The next one to talk about is going to be the fridge. The fridge is just for food and food related items. This is really nice because of how important food and water are uh, to your PMC these days. Now, these can be found in marked rooms uh, and also, once again, kind of just like randomly in those spots that can spawn anything. So you can find them in raid if you have a marked key. Uh, they did take these off from being sellable on the flea market. So even if you found one in raid, uh, you can't really put them on the flea market right now. What you can do, however, is barter for one at Jaeger uh, level two, I believe. It's pretty early. Uh, this is how I got mine. Um, five, 10 hot rods, five tarcolas, five herring, and five squash. Run to the back of interchange in Goshen on either side, and you can find all of this stuff in like two or three raids. With how much food spawns on interchange, uh, you can find this stuff really, really quickly. Yeah, you can buy it all on the flea, but uh, man, you can find food so easily uh, in the back of interchange. So I definitely recommend that for that. And then you can get one of these for pretty cheap. Next is the mag case. This is super nice, obviously, just for magazines. That is really it. It just holds magazines, but 
we all have way too many magazines floating around our stash and all of our rigs and stuff like that. So these are really nice. You unlock the ability to purchase these with money by completing the quest Shooter Born in Heaven. Uh, you can get this quest pretty early now. And that unlocks the purchase for the mag box at mechanic level three for about 280,000 rubles. Uh, these can also be found in raid in marked rooms and stuff like that, which means you can purchase them on the fleet as well because they haven't been restricted for about 250k, so cheaper than buying it straight up, but not by much. Uh, and then you can also craft these. Most of the ones I have, I crafted. Uh, this is at the lavatory level two as well, so you don't need to go all the way up to the level three. And you can craft that with... Uh, it's two of the blue fuels, metal scissors, bolts, and uh, screws. Once again, these are really easy to find. And then if you get your hands on fuel or buy it off the flea market, use the fuel for your generator. And then when they're empty, use it for the mag case craft uh, in, in about four hours. So they're not super expensive. Uh, on the flea market and they're craftable so you don't really have to worry about shooter born in heaven the ammo case holds ammo obviously you can get these from a few quests gunsmith level 10 which you get from mechanic you go through the gunsmiths you get two of them as a quest reward for that you can also get two of them from the quest big customer big customer is the chemical part for if you hand it into prop or instead of skier or therapist you get two for that and then the peacekeeper quest samples which is turning in a bunch of the stims i haven't even done that yet you get an ammo case for that you can also straight up purchase these uh from mechanic at level two i believe or 180,000 rubles, so really not that expensive. And then you can also barter for them from Mechanic at level one. Thermites are much more available, especially if you're scavenging places like Lighthouse these days. Two green gunpowders, you can craft these or found them in raid. Um, so depending, if you have some of these things, you can just do the barter for pretty cheap, or you can purchase them for 180,000 rubles. Uh, not too expensive, different ways to get them. You can get them as quest rewards. Uh, and these are obviously huge utility for sorting and... Um, kind of like keeping your ammo organized. They are also purchasable on the flea for around the same price, around that 180K. So you might be able to get it for a few thousand rubles cheaper, but they are purchasable on the flea if you're looking for them there. The money case is purchasable from therapists. Now this is going to just store uh, your rubles, dollars, euros, Bitcoin, GP coins, and stuff like that. Some of those various things can be can be put in here. It's pretty big, holds a lot of money. You can barter for it at level four therapist for gold chains, rollers, and some gold skulls. This isn't really a bad deal at all. You can purchase these things um, on the flea market for relatively cheap. You used to be able to purchase this on the flea market, but it looks like they have restricted this. So the only really way to get it is, I believe they can spawn in the marked room and the barter. The barter is the most consistent way to get it. You do have to work your way up to therapist level four, but if you're probably not having that much money to store if you're not able to get to therapist level four. So it's a pretty good deal uh, just buying all the things you need off the flea market and making the barter. The pistol case is one of the other ones. The pistol case is one of the least used cases in the games. It's a really old case. Uh, it's really small. So it's, uh, it's a two by two in your stash that opens up to a three by four. Uh, not a lot of utility as far as like actually using these things. They do hold uh, pistols and ammo and magazines. You can kind of use them as like pseudo small magazine cases. The thing is, is that they're expensive and they're expensive because they are associated with that thick weapons case barter. So you can buy them on the flea market. They are 250 to between 250 and 280,000 rubles. You do get one for free for doing Punisher part five, which is killing PMCs with a pack on a 6B47. There's also a quest called Cargo from Peacekeeper that you get. Uh, the first one, Cargo Part 1, you get a pistol case as well. They're just, they don't provide any utility. And unless you're saving them for that barter, them sitting in your stash, especially if you get it as a quest reward, you might as well just sell it. You know what I mean? You might as well just sell it for the 250K. You can barter for them from Therapist Level 2. Uh, these wouldn't be found in Raid. It's four syringes and six piles of meds. There's so many other cases that provide so much other utility. I would probably not wor uh, not really worry about it. I think you can find these uh, at places like the Giving Tree and stuff like that in Raid, but that's the pistol case. Now we're moving on to some of the utility cases that you bring into your raids, and we're going to start with the docs case. The docs case is one of the most sought after, especially in the early game. Uh, you open it to, it is a four by four, so 16 cells, and it can hold a lot of things, a lot of utility. A lot of times these are put in your secure container. So I have the wiki pulled up here. 
in a docs case can hold currency, diaries, folders of intelligence, GP coins, keys and key cards, maps, bitcoins, SAS drives, flash drives, diaries, SSDs, tech manuals, and Veritas guitar pick. So a lot of valuables like the guitar pick and the Bitcoin and GP coins. Uh, one of the greatest things for this is the folders of intelligence fit in here. Uh, so if you've got maybe only like eight keys or something like that, and you're running reserve or any of those places where you find intelligence pretty, uh, pretty often, you can carry a lot of them in here. There's a ton of utility between keys and money. Uh, this is a great all around case to bring um, and to just leave some space for money or random things you find and bring your keys uh, and do anything you need to do in a raid. Now you do get a few of them from quest rewards. There's Punisher part five, which is a proper quest. Once again, kill PMCs with the 6B47 and the pack on. You do get a docs case for free. Uh, additionally, there's a quest called Nostalgia from Jaeger. You do have to kind of get pretty deep down his quest line, but you got to go to Shoreline and retrieve something for him. He gives you one of these as well. You can also barter for them from a uh, therapist. I actually got mine uh, pretty early through a barter lions and cats and horses in the past lions uh were really really rare i don't know how or why but i found like eight or nine this wipe uh they're less than half of the price they normally are at this point in the wipe so this barter especially since you can find horses really easily is not that expensive so if you're early on this is actually a really good barter uh and it's i believe level two so not even hard to get from therapists uh, and then you can also purchase these on the flea market because you can find them in raid in marked rooms and stuff like that as well. Uh, when you find them in marked rooms, sometimes they have really cool stuff inside of them, but uh, they're pretty cheap this wipe. So I definitely recommend picking up one of these 400K if you want to buy it straight up. If you have some of the things you can barter cheap, or if you're close to those quests, you're going to get some for free. So the docs case is definitely a solid one. Now, the next one is my personal favorite, and that is the sick case. The sick case is a lot like a documents case. Uh, but there are some key differences. Uh, one, the sick case is a little bit bigger. This is a five by five. So you do get some, a few extra slots and that is nice for carrying around keys or additional money. I do have the wiki pulled up here. A sick case will hold the chain with pro kill currency, dog tags, uh, golden skull rings, GP coins, keys and key cards, bitcoins, flash drives, and Veritas guitar picks. So the main difference here is that the sick case will take dog tags, which is nice because if you need them for barters or if you're just looking to sell them, you can leave some space and pick up dog tags. Um, the On the flip side, though, the docs case can hold the folder of intelligence, the SAS drives and the diaries, which all sell for a decent amount. You can't put those in here, but you get more space, the ability to take dog tags. And then like the pro kill medallion is one of the only things this can hold that the docs case can't. I normally go for the space uh, because for the additional keys and so that I can take dog tags and stuff like that. Um, the sick case is pretty awesome. The only place that you can get a sick case is the barter from level four Jaeger. You can do this from paracord, duct tape, insulating tape, and nails. I had basically saved up all these in raid and then bought all of the paracords. Um, it is a pretty pricey. If you don't have any of these things and you want to buy them all, it's going to be really pricey. Um, but even if you're just buying this 12 pair of cords, it's going to be a little pricey, but a ton of utility. It's my favorite thing. You can't find these in raid. And because of that, you can't sell them on the flea market as well. So it's literally just the Jaeger level four barter for the sick case. The key tool is another one of these utility things. One of the oldest ones in the game. You can get it from therapist, therapist level two, um, 10 chlorine, 10 saline and 10 H2O2. Uh, if you're buying all these things, it can be a little pricey. Um, just because these things are priced accordingly, but it's actually looking like everything is not too bad. Um, so you can get away with this for probably a few hundred thousand rubles now, which all of these things are so much cheaper than they used to be. The utility of it is that it just holds keys. It is a key tool. It is a one cell that opens up to a four by four. So the space ratio there is really, really good. It just holds keys. A lot of people go in with like a docs case and a key tool. Uh, if you've got one of the bigger secure containers, because that combination, you can hold just about anything you want, which is really nice. Um, and yeah, like we said, the barter is pretty nice. You can purchase these on the flea because you can also find them in marked rooms. Um, and the value of them is much, much greater here, 800,000 rubles. So this barter looks like it does sell out still, uh, but this is much, much cheaper. If you just want to buy with straight up money, you can buy it on the flea market. One of the new cases is one I'm really excited about that I've been wanting for a really long time. And that is the injector holder. The injector holder seems a little too big in my opinion. It's a four by four. So you can hold 16 stems uh, in a one cell thing that sits in my secure container. That seems a little OP. I wanted it to be smaller, but it's really, really cool. 
It's just there for your Sims. This is really nice because a lot of time you can use it instead of like a golden star because you can just keep a bunch of morphine in there or you can keep all these things in for whatever, you know, utility you need. If you need heals, if you need more heals, if you need like to be able to run farther or carry more weight or stop a bunch of bleeds uh, and then a bunch of miscellaneous painkillers. And then I leave a bunch of space for any random stims I find and you can make a decent amount of money with them. So this is really awesome. You can get this as a barter from level two therapist for med tools, syringes, and uh, the H2O2s. Once again, these things aren't priced too terribly right now. Uh, the med tools came down in price a lot when they increase the spawn so this is i definitely i would say this is worth it this is a great thing to have um you know save up a few of them if you don't want to spend all the money right away and the syringes are going to be the most expensive but uh if you can buy them or if you can save up for them this is definitely worth it uh, you can per you can find these in marked rooms and therefore they're purchasable on the flea market i think if you save up a few of the things you can get it a little bit cheaper from the barter but if you don't feel like doing that you can just buy it straight up uh, or if you have a marked key and you get lucky you can get one of those in there as well the other new one that we got is the key card holder the key card holder you can purchase that level three this says fifty thousand rubles but it's actually five hundred and eight thousand rubles the three gets cut off there which is a little weird but Therapist level three, you can buy a key card holder, and this is the same size as a key tool. So one cell opens up to a four by four, and this only holds key cards. So if you're a labs player, all the colored key cards, all of your uh, labs access key cards, and then there's some key cards on interchange and stuff like that. Not a whole lot of utility outside of being a labs player. Uh, currently, this actually fits inside a docs case too. So if you're a labs player, you can bring your docs case to, for intelligence, but also put this in there. So it's like, this the space there is crazy i actually don't know if that's a bug or if that's how it's supposed to be uh but that's the key card holder uh it's pretty expensive you can find them on the flea market as well because uh you can find them in marked rooms and uh they don't have a ton of utility the price ends up trending down so you can get it for about 350 to 380k on the flea market and then one of the last times here is the dog tag case just like the name implies it is just for dog tags 10 by 10 which means you can put 100 in here uh, this is really, really nice. I like saving all my dog tags. There's a tons of barters you can do for them, or you can just sell them for money. Uh, so you can hold those. You can purchase this from therapist at level one for about 340,000 rubles. And then additionally at Jaeger level one, you can barter them. If you find, if you get lucky and you find a few extra flash drives or you found some and you died with them and they're not found in raid for three flash drives, you can barter for the dog tag case, which is actually a good deal because of how much the flash drives go for normally, you're going to get uh, the dog tag case for a lot less than the 350,000 rubles. Um, so that's the two ways that you can get them. You can also get them from marked rooms and therefore you can get them in the um, on the flea market as well for a little bit cheaper, but they all are end up being around that 300k. I would say the flash drive barter is probably the best way to go there. And then the very last two things are just the wallet and the Willer's wallet. They're functionally the same thing. A wallet is a one cell that opens up into a two by two. It can carry money, key cards, stuff like that. It's basically just there for key cards and for money. Um, you can find these all over scavs and stuff like that. Sometimes if you find a wallet in a marked room, it can have like a really good key card in it or something like that. But these are really cheap and just kind of like miscellaneous loot that you can just put money in that I kind of use as like a fake money case for the first uh, while of the wipe until I get an extra dog tag case. And then the Willers wallet is just a Willers streaming item. Uh, and that is literally the same size. You can find these basically just on the flea market because they're from marked rooms. Um, and, you know, it's the same size, holds the same things, but it's technically a container. So that's what we're doing it. So that's it. That is how you get every single case in Escape from Tarkov. I really hope that this answers some questions on how to get some of these cases and how you can get some of them for kind of free by doing some of the quests. So hopefully you go out there and get some of these cases in Escape from Tarkov. Thank you so much, as always, for taking the time to check out this video. If you liked the video, think about dropping a like, commenting down below, or subscribing to the channel for more content like this. I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch. All my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by and say hey. If you're looking for people to play Tarkov with, our Discord server is an awesome place to be. That link is down below as well. Thank you again for stopping by, and I will definitely see y'all on the next one.